All right, we are working with Mortimer here. Got a lot of distractions going on. We've got a squeaky German Shepherd. And then we've got some food on the ground, other dogs over here. So he's been doing great as far as obedience goes. Um, he's understanding all the concepts and what the pressure means and, and is resolving a uh, stem from the e-collar pretty well. It's really just getting him to stay in commands and to pay a little bit more attention. Good boy. Good, so you notice Jess is doing that crazy man method, walking around a little tight left circles, right circles, good. Good. Good, good Jess. Helping them get through a sit. There he goes. So he deals with that pressure really well. He's focusing on a lot right now, and that's okay. Don't sit, help him through it, help him through it. Good, so he'll go into it and he kind of resists at first. So we just a little bit of pressure, but um, good. So it's really just keeping him in these commands once we get him in them. So uh, increasing the duration. Now distance wise, we're gonna still stay relatively close. Good boy, Mortimer. I know that's not what his name is, but I, I don't know. <laughs> we think of the weirdest nicknames. <laughs> I think it's Morty, Mortimer. That's not, it's not too far off, right? <laughs> so doing the place. Good. Place command. He walked right up there. And place can be anything. Place can be, there's like a mat over there, a little cushy bed, a cot, even a chair could be place. Good. And Jess is just trying to get, a, get his attention. Got somebody coming through the door here. Oop. So she's just waiting, get, trying to get his focus. There he is. Good. Good. And even though she's making noises, doesn't mean anything. He wasn't released just yet. She just wants him to focus on her, but staying in place at the same time. So we want some kind of eye contact. So he's happy, and he knows he, he's ready to get off the bed. He's just got to... Good job. He's just got to look up at her to get that release. Now, in the future, this isn't going to be so uh, so important as it is right now because we're really building a foundation of obedience right now. And eye contact, good, perfect, helps with that foundation. Creates focus and it tells us that the, the dog is willing to listen and to learn and to, to be led. Good. Good. Good job.